So you want to know which form of vitamin D is best to take? In today's episode, we're going to discuss six differences between the different vitamin Ds and answer the question you're all thinking, which one is better? Let's get into it. If you've looked at vitamin D supplements, you've probably noticed there are two main forms available, D2 and D3. So what about vitamin D1? Well, the interesting story behind this is that initially vitamin D1, D2 and D3 were discovered and named, but then later they found that vitamin D1 was actually a mixture of two different compounds. So that's why you'll never see vitamin D1 on the shelf. In supplements, if you find vitamin D on the front of the bottle, it'll always be either in the form of D2 or D3. So let's talk about the differences. Number one, structure. Vitamin D2, also known as ergocalciferol, or D3, also known as cold calciferol, have different chemical structures. Can you spot the differences? They look very similar, but there are slight differences. Number two, natural sources. So what are the natural sources of D2 and D3? D3 can be obtained from sun exposure, which accounts for about 90% of our vitamin D intake. But some foods also contain vitamin D3. The best sources of vitamin D3 from food sources include fatty fish, such as salmon, tuna, trout, and mackerel, fish liver oil, and lower amounts in egg yolk, cheese, and beef liver. Vitamin D2 mainly comes from mushrooms, which have been exposed to sunlight or UV light. Many foods, including milk, cereals, and orange juice, are also fortified with vitamin D2 and D3. Number three, supplement sources. Vitamin D2 supplements are always sourced from plant products. So if you prefer to avoid animal sources, then this one's the best one to take. Vitamin D3 in supplements is usually sourced from lanolin. This is a waxy substance extracted from sheep's wool. Sometimes you can find a plant-based alternative of vitamin D3 sourced from lichen, which is a plant formed from fungus and algae. Number four, affinity to vitamin D binding protein. Vitamin D binding protein is a protein that binds to different forms of vitamin D in the blood and transports them around the body to different tissues. The affinity of D binding protein to D3 is slightly higher than D2. Number five, clearance. The weaker binding affinity of vitamin D2 to vitamin D binding protein leads to a shorter half-life and increased clearance from the body. Vitamin D2 has a half-life of about 13 days compared to D3, which has a half-life of about 15 days. Number six, absorption and potency. A study of over 15,000 people looked at the increase in serum vitamin D levels of injecting 600,000 IU of vitamin D2 compared to injecting 300,000 IU of D3. The results showed that D3 was far superior in increasing the serum vitamin D levels even though twice as much of D2 was given. There have been multiple studies that have shown that D3 is better absorbed and increases serum vitamin D levels better than D2. So then which one is better? It's clear that vitamin D3 is the best form to take unless you're trying to avoid animal sources and you can't find the plant version of D3. Interestingly over where I am in all the pharmacies I've worked at I've never seen D2 on the shelves. So that comes to the end of our video. If you found anything useful in this video please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!